hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video ses session i'll cover uh, calling sql stored procedure from rpgl program in ibm is 400 so we have seen uh, several videos i created where i called uh, the stored procedure either from the sql or stl sql session or the command line but this time i'll uh, give you the demo that how we can call a stored procedure from the rpg program so with parameters without parameters whether it's an input parameter input output parameter or an output parameters so uh, we'll see this and how i'll debug that so let's uh, see the demo so this was a, a very simple program uh, where i'm just calling make a call to the stored procedures so you can see i am calling stored procedure stored 22 which is already created i'll show you i'll show that you in debug so like an, any other program we call in rpg uh we basically use the call statements and c uh, fixed uh, fixed format and uh, in the free format we basically use the concept of uh, call the prototype so basically we we defined above the prototype and then make a external program uh, uh, keyword to call that external program and then call that program using call p so this time i am executing an sql call basically this is an sql stored procedure so i am going to call an uh, sql call database call so basically uh, this will use that execute sql thing so you can see i am using execute sql then calling it that is stored procedure so we cannot directly call this like writing the call this or call p this that's not possible so we need to use the execute sql then call that stored procedure so here there is no parameters uh, for this stored procedure so we can see we are not having any parameter we are passing now here the second case you can see uh, where i am calling stored 19 and uh, passing the variable one so in st uh, you, in stored procedure we don't have the concept of that host variable so we'll directly use the variables like var1 so we don't use the colon as a prefix with the variable as such we use in the sql rpg where we are uh, basically coding the host variable so here comes the concept of host variable so we need to pass some variable so first one is the input and the second one is the output so it may be output or input anything so in and out so it may be in or out anything so let's call this so i am passing variable 1 as 2 and count as you know i didn't in, i initialize with the low value that's 0 so this will be in return variable for me so let's see how it gonna be for let's up it's stand and since we're not using the commitment control here comes the debug we start so so you can see this program gets compiled now we need to debug this Let's set the big point at line number one. Then we need to call this RPG program. So we will be calling this program from from the command line here. So let's call this. So where one is two and its count is zero. Now just take Shift F10 here so you can debug this stored procedure. So I took Shift F10 once. It didn't went to the stored procedure source. just press again now in i think in two or three times you will be there in this code procedure so uh, please press that 
multiple times so that you will be in stored procedure or else you want get to the stored procedure and come out just you can see I am so if denominator is 0 that's not the case so the result is still null and now it's num divided by denominator is 2 so the result is 2 and it's come out now this was a simple stored procedure where we are not calling we are not passing any parameters actually now the case here is uh, where we are passing the parameters so you can see var1 is 2 and count is 0 let's take shift f10 and then shift f10 again it didn't went just do shift f10 again it didn't went again now it takes 4 times because I think 2 times it takes for the variables to pass now let's initially it's you can see uh, it's a garbage value uh, from the memory and again it's as well shift f7 now if I took f10 here so now if you see we have received the input parameters 2 and 0 and this is an output parameter so we will return the value from here just do shift f7 SQL state is 0 is 0 now you can see all these things these are null now we are evaluating this statement l underscore sql statement equals to select a star from this file pf1 underscore d where id is greater than question mark so question mark is something which is a parameter marker or a placeholder here so basically we will uh, replace this parameter meter marker value with the input variable p underscore var1 we receive so here uh, what we received is we received 2 so just uh, check quickly check select star from pf1 underscore d so we have all greater than 2 so basically we will receive the count as 3 so now here uh, you can see uh, I'm preparing and declaring the cursor you we are preparing this statement using the uh, statement this select a star from this which is a dynamic SQL statement and then uh, declaring the cursor using the dynamic prepare statement now I am opening the cursor using that variable p underscore var1 whose value is 1 so basically its l underscore SQL statement is now prepared as select a star from this where id is greater than 2 so we face the first record 78 and this count was set to 0 and use the while loop SQL code is equals to 0 till the time SQL code is 0 we will execute this loop count becomes 0 plus 1 that is 1 then again fetch the next record ok and now the count becomes 2 again fetch the next record count would become 3 now the third record was 76 and this name now if you see here it's again 76 since we are not initialize reinitializing the variables so the SQL code becomes 100 now because no further records found as you can see here it's 100 so while so this loop will run till the time SQL code is 0 now it's become 100 so it will come out of the loop and while and now it will close the cursor so once the cursor is gets closed and it would end the body of this now if we uh, look at the count now count becomes 3 that's correct again we are back to the original calling program where we call that stored procedure which took input of variable 1 that is value is 2 and we didn't receive count now if you look at this point you will see that we didn't receive count just press F10 so once you press F10 you are actually out of this call and you are pointing to the next statement now if you look at the variables so you can see that the count 
was actually received back in an output variable since count is 3 now which we received back from that calling stored procedure so you can see this way we can call and stored procedure and we can pass the values um, and we can receive back the values in the output or in out variables and that's the end of the pro uh, program that is setting the last record indicator to on and returning from the program so this way you have seen that how we actually called the SQL store procedure how we debug that how to how to pass the input parameters and the and took back or took the or received the uh, output parameters in out variable or in in out variable that's anyway so uh, this is uh, what the top uh, topic is so i think this is complete now so thank you and have a nice time